I want to talk about what I've done in the first term on the board. I think I've been able to put through more change that I thought was important than maybe any other board member in their first term recently. Of course, there's a lot that hasn't happened. I wish that happened. But I have promoted procurement changes and bids and rebids of bad contracts that have literally saved quite a few million dollars. I pushed for the creation of the Technology Oversight Committee, which is unpaid citizen experts who have played an important role in improving the district infrastructure. I think everyone would now agree. I pushed for a redo of a very bad network procurement, which we did in 2010, and doing it is giving us a better network and saving us a third of a million dollars per year. I pushed for reopening Ritchie School. I pushed a number of issues on transparency, including video streaming at the board meetings. I pushed for allowing UHS to expand and accept out-of-district students. I pushed to expand Rose Elementary to a K-8. I pushed for changes in the agenda policy, which solved some issues that we had with the open meeting law, and I think have made the board more democratic and more open to people bring things to the agenda. I pushed for the board to be willing to consider leasing one of our school sites to a private school, and we did one of those, the International School of Tucson. And every single one of those things, I started out from minority position. In many of those cases, I was the only person initially advocating for that. So I think I have been effective on the board. My day job uh, consists of building consensus. I'm not gonna argue uh, whether or not I'll be able to do that on the board, but I certainly will try. I uh, will say at this meeting, so it's official, I, I don't know if Betts is talking about me, I hope she's not, but I don't plan on having a political career. I just got a master's degree in urban planning. I plan on building communities. I'm doing this because nobody else is doing it. Well, nobody other than the 11 up here with me. But I think it's important that, that we take an active role in building communities. I hope to be able to inspire someone to be able to run in four years or run in eight years. If nobody else is gonna do it, I'll do it then. But I certainly am not gonna be looking for other offices. The idea here is, I think on the board, I'm the only one with a three-year-old. And I plan to advocate for my son and for the sons of all the voices out there that don't have representation on this board. And I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that effectively, I hope, on this board. And I'm gonna continue to build community the way I have. I've managed six and a half million dollars of county bond dollars over the last eight years. And I've done that prudently, and I've done that effectively. And anybody at the city or at the county will let you, will tell you, that I'm, I'm pretty hard when it comes to being able to spend any sort of taxpayer dollars. We're gonna call those people out when they're not spending those dollars effectively or responsibly. And that's what I'm gonna do on this board, is I'm gonna try to, to make it as, pos as clear and as transparent to our community members as possible. My focus is improving public education in general and TUSD in specific. And I'm not just talking about my son who's in seventh grade, um, I'm talking about, as, as Cam said, I'm talking about all of the kids. Public education is one of the most important things that we have to offer, and we need to make it real and important and, and fill it with all of the good stuff we possibly can. My, my focus for doing that has been volunteering at the site level, and I intend to bring the site level to the board. I think a real problem that we have is that the board policies often don't seem to uh, mesh very well with the site level. And I would like to be the linkage there in the way that Judy Burns succeeded in being the linkage there. That's a high bar to set and I don't know if I can make it, but that's what I'm shooting for. I think that's absolutely essential. As well as that, I think that we really, um, we do, we obviously we need to increase parent participation to get there. We need to reduce um, our class sizes in K through three in order to level the educational playing field and make sure that all of our kids have the opportunity that they deserve to get a good education. And obviously reinstating programs like Mexican American Studies, passing things like Prop 204, these things are all important to me because they all hit the same problem from different directions. At the state level, 204, absolutely the legislature cannot continue to make the kind of, uh, the kind of mistakes it's made in the past. So I'm Betts Putnam Hidalgo. Think about my name and vote for me in November.
Well, first off, I'd like to thank you for your time. I, I talked about early, early on what I'm about, where I come from. I'm a native Tucsonan. I was born and raised here and also went to the Tucson Unified School District. You know, here's the thing is that in urban boards, you're gonna have contention, contentious issues because that's the nature of urban boards. There's a reason why as a board member, I have been the swing vote on many issues and that's because I'm a consensus builder. I am someone that works with both sides of the board when it was evenly divided to bring this board together. And there's a reason why I landed twice as the president of the board because they believed in me. I worked with Ms. Burns on the site council policy. Her and I worked on that. She supported me before her passing as the president of the board, even when she knew my position on Mexican American studies. I wholeheartedly mean that. And that's the one thing that I do as a board member is have open and honest communication. I meet with them often, and that's why I believe that I should be returned to the school district because, quite honestly, I can work with any of these individuals to do what's right as long as it's student achievement. And we're doing what's right for the district. Every decision that I have made when it comes to the Common Core, quality instruction, evaluation, supporting strong leadership has been about every kid in every school and I will continue to fight to make sure that no families are put in the same situation that my family was put in. And I want to thank you for your time and remember vote Miguel Cuevas. A lot of people brought up um, uh, the letter Judy Burns and I had a coffee with her a week before she passed and she definitely encouraged me. She was one of many people that encouraged me to run and that we talked about uh, the state of, of this district and I can't even believe what's happened since then. I mean to say that the board's on the right path and to talk about all the great things that certain people have done when we've had national scrutiny like never ever before. We have OCR investigations happening, and uh, I can't even tell you how many that are happening. We have two board members that are here with us tonight whose votes were condemned by the by labor, and labor walked away from our from our from the discussions. There's a lot of wrong things that have happened, and this board needs to work together. Um, this dysfunctional board can't it can't go on further. Uh, and so again, like I started this evening, you know, it's our responsibility as concerned citizens and all of you that are here for education tonight to think about which three people can come together and work with, with Michael Hicks and with Adelita Grijalva to work on what and going the right direction and setting a vision, setting a new path, and, and really committing, committing to, to changing this around because I don't know about you, but it's, it's, it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing to Google TUSD and to see all the negative, negative things that have, that have come to our community because of the leadership of this board. And so again, I'm Crystal Ann Foster and I really hope you consider voting for me. I hope I learned your, your vote this evening. Hi, I've owned two successful printing businesses in the past and I have a very successful online business at the moment. And I also work for the uh, City of Tucson and the Purchasing Department. I want to bring a business sense approach to the administration where they fiscal responsible in the budget because that money deserves to go back to the classroom for the kids that need to learn and to be able to excel in the programs. The present board members they have not been doing the job for the last four years. And in my opinion, if we elected, it will be business as usual. And we don't want business as usual. We want changes. We want, oh, excuse me, sorry. <laughs> sorry about that, I apologize for that. I thought my phone was turned off. Anyway, we want changes. We want to go in a new direction, a new vision for TUSD. We want to recruit the best teachers. We want to recruit more students. We want to have best responsibility. We want to have accountability in every, every school. And we want to provide those to our schools, to our principals, and to our teachers. Because it's so important that we will make those changes and not have business as usual. Thank you. And thank you for your support.
if TUSD uh, continues on the path it's going, it, it affects everyone who lives here now and in the future. Uh, the economic well-being of our community, the well-being of our children, our ability to grow instead of decrease, our ability to attract good business, good jobs, for the university to grow, all depend on TUSD. And sadly, the reputation of TUSD in the community, as best I can determine, is just terrible. And we are met constantly with, with headlines such as uh, the administration somehow didn't get enough seat time in middle schools, so now when we're talking about budget crises and where are we going to find the money, we have to send over a million dollars back to the state. We find out that uh, uh, in the exceptional ed program that a uh, psychologist is harassed, and so we end up having to pay a $185,000 settlement. Uh, and on it goes. Uh, the problem is that we need new blood. Uh, it's very clear. And we need to have a board that is going to take seriously rebuilding the credibility of, of TUSD and getting to a point where we have a community that supports us instead of sees us as a failure. Please, if you're interested in um, my candidacy, please go to my website, futuretusd.org. Thank you.